Hi again. Um, I'm going to do this short video just to explain one thing about the DJI Avata. And in my latest video, um, and I have to say also, I usually don't do videos about drones, but I do use drones in some of my videos. So for me, as a tool for making videos, they are quite important. And uh, the reason I did the last video was because I was so disappointed about uh, the signal strength on the DJI Avata in the CE regions. And uh, I tried to find, of course, as anybody else would have done, I tried to find a solution for that using different FCC hacks and so on. But I think uh, <clears throat> it's also worth to explain why I did this and why I think it's so important to have good signal strength in a drone like this. Because what is the purpose for using an FTV, FPV drone and um, the DJI Avata for me? For me, it's just one thing. I like to have that safety with the drone to fly in dense terrain, roundhouses, crowded places, crowded areas, uh, tight areas, and so on, because I can't do that with the Mini 3 Pro. Uh, with the propeller guards and so on, I mean, you are going to be tempted to fly in very, very tight areas. That's it. And tight areas usually also mean that you have something blocking the signal between the drone and the goggles. Hence the bad penetration. So, uh, I mean, if you look at this, this is usually not the place I would fly my uh, Mini 3 Pro in. I wouldn't even attempt it because the props would fail, they would break, I would crash the drone and so on. So it's just that simple for me. Uh, good penetration in dense terrain is so important on these kind of drones. That's it. I'm not going to buy this drone to fly two kilometers away because you don't have the battery power to do that. You're going to go in a straight line, turn around, go in a straight line back and you're going to land with 10% battery. What is the point of that? For me, it's not a point at all. It's the penetration issue that is the most important thing. So uh, take it for what it is, but this is the kind of drone you are going to push to the limits. You're going to fly it uh, when other drones can't be flown. You are going to probably crash it a lot. You're going to end up uh, crashing it into branches and so on. But you are going to be looking for those tight areas. And um, for me, that's the reason I got this drone. Uh, I, I want to do those cinematic movies or clips that I can't do with an ordinary drone. That's it. I'm not going to fly a long distance with it. It's not that kind of drone. So... Uh, uh, just as a recap from the latest video, FCC hacks, yes, they help. Uh, uh, the penetration gets a little bit better, but um, I still would have li liked more. I mean, if you are going to do anything commercial with this, like selling a property, a huge property, uh, and you want to fly around inside the house and you're going to lose it uh, two bedrooms away, I mean, what's the point in that? Uh, you want to have a smooth one shot take on that flying through the whole property and that's it. Uh, if you're out traveling, I mean, I can give you an example. Uh, since we went to Lofoten in this summer, uh, you're standing down on the road, you have those high mountains, you know it's a mountain lake up there. 200 meters up, you're going to, you know, you want to see what it looks like. Some of the mountains is so steep that you can't even walk or hike up them. It's no, you can't do it. So you want to send up your drone and as soon as you go <coughs> around the corner, you lose signal. I mean, why? Why does it have to be so bad? I mean, I still remember when I had my old Mavic Zoom, I can, I can the penetration was light years better on that light years better uh, and the further back I go in my drone owning history the better the penetration was so uh, either the CE rules or the FCC rules also has been uh, more restrictive but uh, in my opinion it's too bad even with the FCC hack the penetration is too bad and um, that's all I wanted to 
give you on the last video also. So this was just an explanation why I was so harsh in the last video. Uh, still love the drone and everything about it. Just give us more signal penetration in dense terrain. That's all I want to say. Take care, fly safe and have a good day.